Hi there, it's Mrs. Dodd here. Welcome to our week two task for Key Stage 3. That's year 7, 8 and 9. So last week we were looking at Lent. A big thank you to those of you who've emailed either me or their teachers with examples of their work, photographs of their work. Keep those coming guys. Remember it's really important that you keep accountable um, and that you keep yourself busy during this period of isolation. So this week's task, we're going to go a bit creative, if you don't mind. First of all, don't worry. It's not about you going and buying and getting bits and bobs and spending lots of money. So the first bit of our lesson this week is to look um, at the starter task, which is a recap. So don't cheat without looking at what you did last lesson. I would like you to write down three things you can remember about the traditions or customs carried out before Lent for Christians. So some examples of what a Christian might do before Lent. OK, then we've got some information for you to read through. So on your recap, you can either write that down or you can um, type it if you're putting together a document. Remember, it's a really good idea to open a folder um, call it RE and put all your completed work in there or you can email it to me weekly if you prefer or your RE teacher. So if I teach you for RE or you don't know your teacher's name then you can obviously send it to me and my email address is m for Michelle that's m dod that's d o d d at seven don't forget the r in seven veilschool.com and then you've either got Miss Galpin, Mrs Hillsley or Miss McKinley as your RE teacher if you're in year seven if you're in year eight and nine it's just me or Miss Galpin so back to your task then for this week um, you've got some information to read about Shrove Tuesday better known as pancake day in the UK and then some information about a festival that you might have heard of um, and if you're on our departmental Instagram or Twitter page you'll have seen a sneak peek of Mardi Gras a Mardi Gras is actually um, based on a Christian tradition. So what I'm going to get you to do is to have a go. Uh, once you've read through the information, um, I would like you to have a go at drawing your own design for a Mardi Gras mask. Now, you can do this completely on paper or if you want to, then you can go all out. And if you have the um, craft supplies you can totally make one and what I'd be loving for you to do is to send me some pictures even if I don't teach you of those completed masks and I will put those onto our Instagram and Twitter pages for everybody to enjoy okay and then at the bottom of your sheet for your plenary is a little learning journal so again you can copy and paste that into a word document or do this handwritten just getting you to think about what you've learned today. So we've gone for a creative Mardi Gras task this week and I cannot wait to see these fabulous offerings that you've got. Um, any questions, please feel free to email me um, and I look forward to catching up with you next week. Enjoy week two, keep safe and I look forward to catching up with you soon. Bye!